What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about Diablo 4. And what about Diablo 4? Well, I'm going to give my five reasons, because it's season five, I guess, of why I'm waiting for the expansion to play. I'm basically, I'm skipping season five. And there are a few good reasons why they're all, they're not all negative. It's just, you know, it's just personal preference, really. I mean, it, you know, some people want to skip season five and they're just waiting for the expansion. It, it, it's nothing negative. All right. But there is there is some feedback and there there are some things that are keeping me from playing. I'm going to address. And like I said, it's not necessarily negative. OK, it's just personal preference. That's all. So, you know, with Diablo season five, it looks cool. I, I like the added additions. I like the updated uniques. I like the updated classes, uh, the skills and all everything else looks good. The itemization looks good. They're improving it steadily. I have no doubt the itemization is going to be great for the expansion. It's going to look and be play great. I have no doubts about that. So the detractors for me for for not playing is obviously number one is that the expansion is coming out soon. So it's like, you know, what's what's the point? Number two is I, I, I don't like the way season five adds these added activities. And I feel like they're adding too many micro activities. What I mean by that is, OK, we have the pits. We have the hell tides. We have the dungeons. You know, you have the nightmare dungeons. And then you're adding you. Uh, what is it? The uh, the horde mode. Then you add the horde mode and then you're adding uh, mini horde modes, you know, like uh, like um, like sellers. Right. They're adding that mini horde mode where you get the experience a little bit of what it's like to be, you know, in the infernal horde uh, mode. So, again, that those are those are micro those are micro activities that just pile on. And the reason why I don't want to do those micro activities is the number one reason is there's added currency for that. I am tired of activation currency. There's there's too many currencies that you need to give for activation people. You know, you need to get compasses and tears and tears of compasses and, and more tears and tears. Look, I'm going to tell you outright. All right. If, if we're going back to hell, hell should have been an open world plane. It should have a finite difficulty. And by that, I mean, there are, should be no tears. It should have a finite difficulty that is extremely hard. All right. We're talking that you need to be level 90 to 100 to, you know, get through this open area. It shouldn't exist in T3. It should only be in T4. And this open hell area would have random enemies, a random layout and a random Uber boss mixed in. So essentially, you could go to this, you know, this hell. You could go into hell and fight random bosses. You could fight the council, too. And you could get the loot drops. You could fight the bosses randomly. And it's extremely hard to get to the bosses. So you are rewarded. That way, you can avoid always having to need currency to summon everything. Dude, I am sick of summoning currency. Please, please. We are drown I am drowning in currency. I can't do it anymore. That is my that's my number one biggest issue of why I'm not playing uh, season five. And again, that could be subjective. Some people could like, you know, collecting all of this stuff. I don't. I think it is a nightmare. No pun intended. You know, give us hell. Let us actually go to hell. And I know it would have been a bigger project to do so, but this is a permanent addition into the game. And I get it. I, I get I get the uh, pushback a little bit like, you know, if they made hell, let's say they remade act four. And inside of Diablo four. It would kind of be a big thing, right? It would kind of be like its own expansion, but I think the game could have used that. OK, the the second biggest reason for me is that I am bored with the classes. And now this isn't specifically about any class, but since the game launched, there has been something missing with the classes. There is a play style that is missing. I don't know why. I don't know how, but there is no shield gameplay in this ARPG. And you might say, well, they want to, you know, uh, innovate. They want to put different classes. We don't need the Paladin. 
We don't need the Crusader or anything like that, right? Well, not quite, because ARPG formulas, well, first of all, it was started by Diablo, right? They created the ARPG formula in the first place. But it's like, if the wheel's not broken, don't fix it. If you have a Paladin in every game, don't fix it. It's in every game. Whether you had the Knight in Diablo 1, obviously the Paladin in Diablo 2, and you had the Crusader in, you know, Diablo 3. And you also have the Crusader, I think, in a Diablo mobile game. So it doesn't make any sense not to have it, you know, in Diablo 4. That's a big detractor for me because I like two styles of gameplay. I don't like summoning. I don't like the Barbarian. I like Sorcerers and I like Paladins. I like Sword and Shield and I like Battle Mages. OK, I like I like Sorceries and Magic. So basically, I am cut off from an entire play style is completely cut off for me. And that, like I said, that's personal preference. That is personal preference. I am cut off from that. That 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 doesn't exist for me in Diablo that has existed for, you know, 24 years. OK, that 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 bothers me. That leaves me hollow and shallow. So I'm skipping season five because of that, because I don't want to play the sorcerer again and have all all the same, you know, metas. We're going to have the ice bikes that are buffed. We're going to have, you know, the, the frozen orbs with the with the tempering. You know, we're going to have all these crazy builds. We're probably going to have a crazy fireball. They probably already do fireball build, you know, with the bouncing fireballs and how it regenerates mana now. That's all cool, but it's still a sorcerer and I'm still playing it over and over and over again. So I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the expansion so I can play the spirit born and actually experience a different play style. And I do believe, yeah, you could get a staff where it has more of a defensive base or you could have a glaive. I'm excited for that. I want new weapons. I want to use a glaive. And that's the thing I can't get right now. I can't get a character who uses a physical weapon that I want to play. But the spirit born probably will fill that gap. I haven't gotten to play it yet, but it looks that way. So I'm waiting for the expansion so I can play the spirit born three. Like I mentioned earlier, there's the season is short. The expansion is coming out soon. I don't see a reason to play season five at all. It doesn't seem all that interesting. And, you know, the, the questing for it is just your typical like filler. It's just a filler quest, obviously. And it, it, it just. I got nothing for that. Nothing entices me about playing season five. Right before the expansion, actually, that's it. I thought I had five reasons, but th those are the biggest ones that I spoke about. And it pretty much covered everything that I was thinking. Now I can talk about some of the positive that I, that I do like about season five. I love that they brought the high council back. That is effing cool. Having the high council and I believe it's permanently in the game. That is really cool. It's really good to see them redone because as we know, the High Council were one of the most unique enemies and, you know, Diablo 2, and we've never seen them done in a 3D way. I think they did an amazing job with the High Council. So let's put some respect on Diablo's name. There we go. Let's let's have some positivity to finish this video off. I love that they put the High Council back in there. I do. I really, really do love that. And I love that they updated the uniques on the Sorcerer. I love, love, love that. They look a lot better now. It seems like they're going in the right direction with the uniques. It seems like they are buffing, buffing uniques in the way that they need to buff. And like I said, this item, like I said, this itemization is turning out to be very, very nice. And like I said, I really, really like the itemization. I like the direction they are going in. I can't wait to see what they do for Vessel of Hatred. And I guess that is the that is one of the other reasons. I just I know something's coming for the Vessel of Hatred. I know new stuff is coming. I know new skills are coming. And I know the way they're approaching this is going to be innovative. So that, I, I, I'm really just waiting for that. Because, we, you know, we've heard things about, you know, uh, infinite paragons, capping level caps, reducing levels, all of these different things. I, I want to see what it is. I want to see what's going on. I want to play the Spiritborn. Spiritborn looks great. They're doing such a good job with this game, I, I have to say. So, like I said in the beginning, those are my opinions why I'm skipping Season 5. Let me know if you feel the same way in the comments. Because I'm sure some people are skipping Season 5 for some of the same reasons. 
some of the critical feedback that I give. And I want to let the team know they're doing a fantastic job. The direction they are going in is great. And I'm really, really excited for Vessel of Hatred. I mean, I really am. I can't wait to play it on day one. Anyways, I'm going to play it as soon as I could possibly play it. And I can't and I'm super excited for it. So that's the video. That's why I'm skipping season five. And those are my positive thoughts to close out the video. Let me know what you think. I want to know what, uh, you know, regular people think about this and the Diablo community. And I like discussion and feedback. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I am almost at 200. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, my uh, my format and my formula. To be honest, I'm still trying to figure out, uh, you know, a schedule and like kind of like a formula, you know, you have to get you have to get yourself and, and, and kind of have your, you know, your formula so you can connect with people and have discussions and they know what to expect. So I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get that going. So bear with me and uh, let me know any feedback you have. Actually, if you think I'm going in the right direction with the videos like this or if you think I should do more gameplay or reviews or stuff like that. So let me know. Uh, love the feedback. Thanks, everybody, for liking, subscribing, watching. I'll see you next time.